I have two powder blushers and surprise surprise this is the first month that I actually have two favorites only and they're from MAC which I'm I like MAC but my Laura Mercier's and my Chanel blushers and I guess even my sleek blushers they've taken a front seat as of late but this month I've absolutely been loving this two MAC blushers this one is one of my top blushers of all time this is warm soul and I've definitely rediscovered my love for this it is just a beautiful, subtle, 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 understated blusher which looks very neutral. Not too pink, not too peach, but absolutely beautiful when you lay it in your cheeks, even on a daily basis. And this one is a new one. Spring Sheen. It's a sheer tone shimmer blush. This is how it looks. It's a beautiful in-between of a peach pink coral. And because it's a sheer tone, it's actually, it gives this kind of luster very um, reminiscent of a MAC mineralized skin finish. So I've absolutely been loving this as well. For lips, I've really stayed away from a lot of lipsticks or layering lipsticks and lip glosses. I've really come to embrace just a very um, luscious yet natural lip or a stained lip. I've even held off on the lip pencils as of late. So here's a few that I want to share with you guys. First and foremost, and number one is, this is one of my holy grails. It's the Clarence Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in 01. This to me is the best lip gloss in the world. And it comes with a doe foot applicator like this. I love it so much. And because I cannot get it where I live currently, I actually do have a backup of it. So this is the one, my number one lip product of the month. I've also rediscovered my love, and because of the finish of this, um, my MAC Cream Sheen glasses. And these are my two favorites. This one is the Cream Sheen Glass in Partial to Pink, which I even love more than, I think, Boy. I think they have, that's their number one um, bestseller. And this one is Going Casual, which is a lavenderish tone so when I put it in my lip it just brings out the mauveish tones of my lip absolutely love it um, these products the cream sheen glass for me is the only lip gloss product that um, looks absolutely beautiful in its own without um, a primer a lip base or a lip pencil candy doll it's a Japanese brand and I don't even know what color it is but it's a very milky peach and this one looks absolutely amazing on its own as well this is one of the Revlon lip butters color burst lip butters um, this one is in 015 2d fruity it's the orangey shade which is not typically something I'd wear on a daily basis but I've grown to embrace this bright kind of peach orange. This looks absolutely amazing with bare luminous skin. Another thing I want to share when it comes to the lip butters, I actually have a couple of them as well, but to be honest, I haven't reached for them as much as I thought as I would, and I just don't think it's necessary to do a full review because there's gazillions out there but I guess I share the sentiments of gold girl I forget her first name but really this is just um, a lipstick just differently packaged yes it's a bit more moisturizing but it's nothing like a rouge cocoa shine which formulation and finish wise stands out really but this tutti frutti is definitely a favorite one lip product I forgot to mention is the sleek pout polish with SPF 15 and this shade that I have is 946 electro peach it's very similar to the um, tutti frutti Revlon it's a very bright almost scary neonish orange but on the lip it's just a very beautiful um, sheer wash of color it's actually less pigmented than the Revlon lip butters so this is how it looks very similar but less pigmented so it just stains the lip a bit it's not actually as scary as it looks in the pot 
but it's very moisturizing. I'm actually very surprised with the Sleek formulation. I know it's a very inexpensive drugstore brand from the UK, but this on its own without any primer, without any lip conditioner is actually amazing. So that's how it looks. This is the Sleek one, and this is Revlon Lip Butter. And last but not the least, this is a skincare product. I lied. I actually have another skincare product. It's a skincare product, but it it works well, or it's supposed to be in conjunction with a makeup product. And this is La Roche Posay Effeclar K. I first heard about this from TT Sandra, and I absolutely love it. It is a re re renovating care for oily skin anti relapse. It's paraben free. This is recommended to be used as a base. It's not a moisturizer, it's actually a makeup base which protects your skin. I won't go into a full review of this, but it actually helps heal your skin as well. And being that the weather that I'm in is tropical and humid, my skin has changed or has veered more a bit towards a bit oilier combination. This has been a lifesaver. And my usual makeup or primer base would be the Makeup Forever HD, but I've come to realize since I've been using this this past month that my skin has my skin's oiliness has been more controlled given the weather and my makeup actually lasts so much longer so absolutely a favorite for this month so I guess that's about it I'm looking forward to getting back into the, making more videos hopefully especially when I get my my Mac fixed and so I guess that's about it I hope everybody's doing well Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.